Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Sophia, if you don't know. So this is my room. I guess you can only see behind me, which is my plants. ChatGPT just literally wrote me a script for my YouTube video because I didn't know what to say. But now I'm just going with it. Camera fades in to show you standing outside your loft attic apartment door, holding a paintbrush like a microphone. Oh, oh no. Pans to yoga mat. Ah, my yoga mat tucked away in the corner. I like yoga, but let's be real. I'm not bending like a pretzel every day. It's here for inspiration and well, occasional stretching. That is so fun. Funny actually. I put in, I like yoga, but not that much. That's actually so funny. That's funny because it's true. So I moved into this house February of 2023. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Oh wow, it's September. That's eight months ago. Wow. And we've been working on finishing the house. So basically, I just painted the wall yellow yesterday. I'm painting my stairs right now. Yeah, so it's basically just a tour of my art studio. I have my whole art studio on this half, and then I have my bedroom on the other half. I really absolutely love this room. It's so beautiful. I used to live in Toronto. I was in art school. I still am in art school, but I take the train once a week. By the way, it's fall. It's literally September 9th, and I'm drinking apple cider. Just in case you were wondering. Okay, let's go. My room is usually pretty messy, like me filming this video inspired a very big cleanup before I started, so it's very clean right now. Well, actually, that's not even true. Like, I do big cleans, and then it's dirty, and then I clean it. It's never dirty. I vacuum it. I do. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, one mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. So yeah, come on in. This is my bed. Isn't it freaking awesome? Look at this, it's, yeah. This is my window. I know it's a bit bright. I have this light that I can turn on. You can't even see it. This is my night table. What I use as a night table, it's just like a piece of wood. And then under it, have you ever seen those from Home Depot, the, what is it, plumbing things? Yeah, that's what we did. And I got these. I got this candle from a market the other day. I was um, a vendor. I was selling my art at a market and one of the girls was making these candles. So I bought one. And this one is just from Home Sense or something. Tranquil Sage and Muskoka Summer. This is my salt lamp. I have licked it. It does taste like salt. My projector right here. And I put the thingy on and I can watch movies. The young woman has fallen on your shoulder. The Three Mountains is the closest hotel. Okay. where I keep my books. Honestly, recently I've been going through a reading phase. Like I've been forcing myself to. And oh my gosh. Can we talk about the uh, Where the Crawdads? This book is so good. I cried so hard. I didn't know if it was going to be amazing. And then the last, like, I can't say anything. It was amazing and I cried. The Girl Blade of Fire. What is this? This is the first one. This is the sequel. And then there's the prequel. That's the third one, right? I think so. And I haven't read it. But I've read Girl Who Plays the Fire. Um, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. That's this one. They were okay. Definitely not as good as the Crawdad book. It's my elephant guy. He sits on top of. I painted this dresser green. Just ignore this junk. I have some of my favorite clothes in here. Oh, I got this. Got this. This is where I do my work. So on my desk, I keep a few of my pottery thingies that I made this summer at a summer pottery course. It was six weeks long and I made these thingies and I put my essential oils in them and use them for various reasons. This is my wall of uh, checklists and a calendar that I have that I don't quite use. If you're wondering where I keep all my stuff, it's in these dirty old closets. I'm gonna, let me just show you real quick. I actually organized this closet specifically. It's really scary. It's just like a dark, scary room. On the other side, I have the exact same thing. I don't need to show you, but I do have my knitting stuff in there. So because I live in a loft, I don't have a closet and I use a clothing rack instead. And here's where I do my occasional stretching. Usually I do have a yoga mat, but my sister took it and I don't know where she put it. Yes, so 
this is my favorite part of the room. I have all my painting stuff here. I have this massive painting that still needs to go to Switzerland for my hand. I have all my spare canvases and stuff in the back right behind. Right behind this is all my paper and spare canvases. Here's where I keep all my painting stuff, my paintbrushes, my oil paints. I prefer oil over pretty much any other painting medium. I always break all my paintbrushes and go into waste like in that. <laughs> Over here we have a bunch of my paintings. Um, some of these I did while I was at OCAD like a year, actually probably two years ago now. Maybe a year and a half ago, yeah. These are some Bob Rosses that Annie and I did. This is a portrait, uh, the self-portrait I did while I was in OCAD. It was like a one night painting. Yeah, um, it looks very angry. This is my paintbrush collection. I have a large variety of palette knives and paintbrushes. Most of them are for oil, like I said. Um, I stain most of them, and also I often break my paintbrushes by forgetting to wash out the oil. But these big ones, I will hopefully never break. That's my plant, that's my propagating plants, my beautiful curtain, my guitar. And this is my gigantic window. It's literally amazing. I used to live in a basement and I had the smallest window on it. I feel like the room is missing something like across these ceilings. Like I gotta put something. Yep, I super def duper need a carpet. I would love to put a carpet there. Um, mm -hmm. I really love the colors. Anyway, so yeah, that's my room. There you have it. That was everything. Um, yeah, I still wanna do something to these walls. I still wanna maybe paint a pattern on that side of the wall with some yellow. Cause I don't know, to tie it together, maybe I'll, have you seen that like potato person? The person that takes potato and sticks it on the wall and makes a wall pattern. I think that would be cool. Anyway, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you next week with a new video. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye-bye.